Okay, hello again. So we're going to have a go at doing a self-portrait using continuous line. So we're not going to take our pen off the paper. I've also put the pen in my left hand. I'm normally right-handed, so I really am challenging myself. I've got a lack of control over the materials, um, which is going to create some fairly, hopefully, uh, interesting drawings. Very different to the sorts of drawings we've been doing so far where we have shown enormous control. So when we did our, our Heike Lees uh, tonal drawings um, and the ones we did with our photographs based on the work of Heike Lees. Now I've just seen here, I want to come back up here and draw the um, pupil. There we go. Um, and so if I need to go back to an area that I've already covered, I just have to go back over my line. Now look what I've got to do on the nose. Um, I've got to come up the side there, which is quite against everything that we've learned so far about drawing noses. So we really are breaking the rules with these drawings. I'm also a bit blindsided by where my hand is. I can't see what I've already drawn. Um, so it's another challenge that we are really creating up for ourselves. But it's going to make these drawings very interesting. Um, now you really have to plan your route. I think I'm going to come down here um, and I'm going to have a go at the lips before I move on to the hair and the shape of the face. Now I know I'm talking while I'm doing this to guide you through it, but I would find it much easier if I was just concentrating on what I was doing. But for the purpose of the demo, I want you to be able to um, hear what I'm saying. So I'm going to come up here. It's a bit like a Picasso right now. Um, and it really is a challenge not not being able to control the lines in the way that we're familiar with. Um, I can see straggly bits of hair here, so I'm going to try and uh, include those. And then I've got a fringe that's going all over the place, but well, never mind. Now, what's interesting actually... Um, and you'll see this when you have a go yourself, is the chunks that we are drawing. So for example, the hair, we're treating it as a block. Um, and you'll recognize that some of these things are what we were doing when we were studying Luke Dixon. Um, using blocks of tone and creating pattern, etc. Um, so some of this will look very Luke Dixon-y. Now, I'm just trying to look at the shape here of my face. I'm not entirely sure I'm capturing that. Now, I'm going to stick to this bit. I'm going to do the neck and the shoulders, and then I'm going to come back up. So plan your drawing. Uh, I should say the pen I'm using, I'm not using a fine liner. I'm just using um, a writing pen, just a normal pen that you can write with, because what I'm thinking is I've got the option of adding some colour to this if I want to, uh, whereas if we use the fine liner, you'll remember that the, um, the ink will bleed. Now I could carry on down here, but um, I, I'm not going to today for now because I don't need getting bored of watching. Um, and I'm going to travel over here to draw with a collar, um, with a little button there. Um, I want you to enjoy these, what you might consider to be messy lines. Um, there's something really charming about the lines and the marks you make because they're, they're so unlike what we're used to doing. It's a great way of loosening up from the very controlled way we've been working. Um, now my hair's up in a bun, sort of scruffy bun. So I'm going to use some of the additional lines to create a bit of the hair texture. Well, not too much of it. I'm not drawing the strands of hair. Um, now, I know it looks a bit strange. And, you know, it doesn't look like me. Um, but I'm not going to worry. Because we are doing a continuous line drawing. Now, in our own hand, if you can, try and give it a title um, again. <laughs> it's a real challenge. Continu I don't even know if I spelt it right. I've not. I've, I've missed off of you because I wasn't watching what I was doing. Continuous. 
I can't do the T and the, the dot on the I there because I've got to carry on writing first continuous line. I'll come back to that in a minute. Drawing. I'm not going to write longhand as well because it's just going to go on too long. Oh wow, look at that writing. And then I'm going to come over here to do a dot. And then I'm going to come over here to do a dot. And another dot. And the line on the T. What crazy drawing today. Have a go. It's a great way of loosening up and another way of demonstrating our skills. And because it's quite a quick technique, you could do three, four, five, looking in different directions from different viewpoints, etc. Do use a mirror to help you because you're going to need to look and concentrate or at least work from a photograph. Okay, good luck with that one.